Welcome everyone to this live stream. Hopefully less slideshow. Well, your mileage may very let's pause this here so. And yes, hopefully one of the last live streams here with this failing setup. However, why was the last live stream such a slideshow? Because I actually booted with this Intel security vulnerabilities spectrum meltdown mitigations and mitigations not disabled. What I usually otherwise do not only on this ultra low voltage surface but also actually the Mac Mini and other stuff because just this 10-20% here and there everything adds up especially for live streaming and especially for ultra low voltage devices like this one. What is this talk about? As I said multiple times we want to do your code and open source stuff, advancements, development stuff and to document all of those, if I would not make a video now, then I would not have that much from my hour or two of tinkering here each and every day. So I said multiple times already that this Retina MacBook Pro or others that have, and yes, failing, also aging, failing piece of Apple garbage. But anyway, I still have it and um, changes are to come. However, those have not only the Intel GPU, so if you have this stuff, again, I don't recommend this, watch all my previous videos about all the many details, but if you have it or whatever, or even maybe some PCs, this dual graphics, this dual graphics situation really is not 100% amazing, especially on the Apple side. So what we have here is actually some Max. You see this here in this NVIDIA diagram. We have here the dedicated GPU and the integrated GPU and in those Apple devices this is here connected to the display with a MUX multiplexer. Maybe I should not have loaded this. And that is the thing that is Apple proprietary and this is causing you some headaches. This still does not work amazingly. So you need a driver for this. There is a Linux driver for this just that it simply doesn't work flawlessly nor amazingly. And um, the second thing is that doesn't receive enough data. What? Don't tell me we are about oh, zero frame drops. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, what? It's a little bit slideshow. Mm. Um, video capture, maybe this is this less. Hmm. Anyway, with camera view in a moment, it will become better again. So this thing causes a headache. The more modern setup, so new, at least PCs like Dell 2-in-1 hybrid stuff doesn't do this, especially even in the case of AMD graphics. So even the 2-in-1 Dell XPS 15 that we reviewed, it had this uh, display controller. So it's using the integrated graphics always as a display controller to drive the display. This uh, dedicated GPU here only rendering to the shared frame buffer or the integrated frame buffer actually. And on the open source Xorg side, this is called Prime. Nvidia calls this here Optimus, but whatever if this, it's not really that Optimus because it is, well, it is one extra copy. So well, Optimus and you lose some performance, but at least you do not have this max that could flicker and be annoying. And well, all of those setups are, uh, engineering a challenge, even this software solution is also a software engineering challenge. Anyway, I wanted to finally take a look here. I made a video about this already quite some year ago because the evil thing from Apple is that they disable this. So this is really unfair from them, in my opinion. Hmm. Zero drop frames, how many? 16 frames, hmm. whatever. Anyway, I hope this is good enough. And again, one of the last live streams with this here. Um, are we connecting and streaming? So, because the thing is that if you just boot Linux, then you, on those hybrid Macs, you only get the NVIDIA graphic, which is not really optimal for energy saving stuff. And uh, this is of course your portable SSD. 
and this I usually hand edit for the latest kernel uh, or actually in this case what I said the other day Broadcom also not amazing that was I think 8 and then we um, actually don't want to live stream that password I hope wait a second so actually now I was too fast um, I forgot so this exactly will actually now lead to no display at all I only want to document this here so in detail to really document what a pain all of this nonsense is and um, this should open uh, slot one opened here so actually the graphic should disappear I slightly wonder why this does take so long how many frames do we even have hey zero drop frames and we are rendering with 30 frames per second amazing is this really even hmm, actually quite fast anyway why does this take so long it shouldn't take so long that is funny hmm. should have worked strange this is what we do live streams for that this stuff fails live by the way as we already boot you so often how do you like this special flavor of a tux because what I actually forgot so actually this should have caused a black screen but the thing is so I made a video about this the Apple magic Efi stuff what is this magic Efi stuff so as I said when we just boot now we will have no Intel graphics and because I set a special environment variable to default to Intel graphics with this special setup that Apple has not in, envisioned and has not written program in the Efi BIOS and stuff for it will actually lead to a black screen probably because the graphic is switched to Intel and Linux only sees Nvidia and then you have black screen obviously I guess so for this there is uh, you can do and so according to this other video that I made a year ago there is a special EFI protocol and someone else has done all the amazing work and saved me quite a week of work I only had to get it working again as I had this other video because the last EFI BIOS update made this not functional anymore so InSmod Apple ZOS that is a grub module that this other author has written and I only modified and today I have modified it more if you run this so this adds a new Apple ZOS function here and this is setting this is calling into the EFI BIOS a special secret Apple function that simply passes two strings it's passing this Apple Inc as vendor and macOS X 10.9 as version and now we actually can indeed boot our Linux and this time it should actually work if we are not having another bug or two here let's see And what I've done today, I wanted to find out what kind of strings you need put in there. So you could reverse engineer this. I didn't have the BIOS immediately handy. Why does this take so long? Do I have some better FS journal flushing or slot zero opened? Somehow this shouldn't take so long. Strange stuff. Anyway, I can already explain what I've done today. So it bugged me a little bit that we are setting what you have seen. We, we set there we are Apple Inc and we are Mac OS and I always wondered can you put any string like could I call this with VR exact code and this is T2 Linux and somehow I'm slightly irritated that this doesn't boot right now this is not the iffy magic stuff I wanted to show you actually hmm. strange anyway that is why you should actually pre-record videos and not have here this nice conversation so what I have tested, tested here with trial and error again I wanted to unpack the firmware update but it was in disk image and I didn't had Mac OS booted and then I did not want to fiddle with this disk image any, anymore because then maybe potentially we could maybe depending on how encrypted it is in there or and hidden we could disassemble the BIOS what I have done instead now because I wanted to get done with this and not spend here the whole night is I have changed the strings I really wish it would actually boot really strange that it doesn't boot anymore so what I found out is on first of course I tried their Mac OS differently written and that still worked then I tried exact code instead of Apple Inc that did not work and um, 
So what I found is the vendor string probably needs to be Apple. Maybe another night I disassemble this and confirm if they really compare this. But the OS string, you could put anything like Linux, Windows, you name it. I only wonder that it doesn't boot right now. The magic of computers. Anyway, that is the point I wanted to share. I also improved this Grub module that right now doesn't work for some magic reason. Amazing stuff. And because it is a little bit time consuming to always change the code, because those strings Apple Inc. and Mac OS were hard coded in there, so I changed the module, the Grub. Oh, now it boots. Now when I press here the power button, because I already wanted to power cycle, then it boots. Strange stuff. I wonder if we had some journal. Uh, better FS replying, so uh, also more passwords. Yeah. Best idea to live stream this, I guess, to leak all my passwords. And to show you what this is about, so one thing, if you have such a bloody Mac, you can mount debug FS which is this debug information kernel module and that gives you some more information including here this kernel debug fs vga svigiru is this module also for all the other pc hybrid stuff and there you have all your switcheroo vga switcheroo stuff and we have now integrated powered and dedicated graphic is completely off that saves us some good 15 watts actually or at least over 10 watts which improves the runtime here from now with a five-year-old battery from four hours so from two hours less than two hours to four, four, four to four hours which is actually certainly pretty useful and there you see why do i document this in devs first of all it was bugging me with the strings i really wanted ideally i would want to send their exa code t2 but it doesn't work I can show you the code. This code is in T2 here in package x86 grub2 and this apple set os which is this patch from the internet with some polishing and probably I should can I turn this a little bit for readability. I hope it's somewhat readable. It's a small text. Anyway, you can open this if you want to. You have seen the URL. This is on the T2 website in just go T2 SDE org packages, grub2, and then you can click on the files, the Apple set OS thing. And SVN, uh, we are not on the internet. Anyway, otherwise. So what I've done also today is to change this function. So all of this is really few lines of code, but again, I would estimate this takes at least a couple of days of reverse engineering and coding and everything, if not a week. There you see all this time of humankind wasted for this kind of secret hardware stuff of Apple. So previously this has here this grub module got here arcc and arcs, similar to main function of C programs. And I already uh, saw in other grub code that you can actually pass their arguments in there. So I've just added here, let me just scroll a little bit so that it's more visible here. And so I added this today that if the arc, arc count is greater than zero, then use the argument here. And if there is a second argument, then also use that argument and that indeed works. You see here hard-coded names in the previous code. I actually also changed the hard-coded names before this was macOS, macOS X, 10.9 and Apple Inc. And with my trial and error today, I now changed this just for the fun of it to Mac OS Sish, just to show Apple the finger for whatever. I wish we could change this to Exacode or Linux or whatever, but the vendor apparently needs to be Apple Inc. Just wanted to document this here in more detail. And this here is a secret GUID protocol. And if we land all the protocols are identified with this bloody magic GUID numbers here, so this is by nature in EFI. Could also scroll up to the screen for your documentation. So this is naturally in EFI, so stupidly obfuscated because EFI is not amazing. So all the other protocols like accessing standard in and out and block devices and such are implemented in a similar manner, just that Apple has here its private secret EFI magic protocol stuff that is this 
function to tell the EFI BIOS, hey, we are really macOS and do some special source like leave all the hardware enabled and do not disable half of this. Um, I could also boot again if you are interested in that. How many drop frames do we have? Hey, zero drop frames, amazing stuff. So this is already committed and so with this change you could now set this to um, Debian or Arch Linux or Gentoo or whatever you feel like. Let's where's our control alt? No control alt need okay. to reboot. Um, I think I should have the latest version on here that allows setting this just to show you this here out of principle. And um, yeah, just my final sometimes you you know like what I always say, so Doku and Tetris you want to find some stuff out. I was curious what kind of stuff you could set there, but it makes sense that, well, the whole thing does not make that much sense except hiding this from Windows maybe because Apple didn't want to support this in bootcamp nonsense. But otherwise I think it doesn't make that much sense in smart Apple set OS and then Apple set OS and then we can have here Mac. So either um, you can also set this to Hackintosh and Apple Inc. Of course you need to quote your spaces or whatever and then this is now correctly here. Yeah, so this we need to set this is anyway but Hackintosh just for the fun of it and that should still boot to graphics just that you know what kind of stuff you are dealing with and the new stuff is of course not that different in terms of T2 chip and why I don't buy this anymore. Not making this stuff up. And um, yeah, this is of course also when vendors become increasingly unfriendly to the professional world, bring your own OS. Yeah, somehow I have no idea why this was so slow previously. You see, we have still graphic. We would not have this graphic because again, I have for my convenience set an environment if we very able and VRAM very able for defaulting to Intel just to make my life on Linux easier because otherwise this VGA switch rule stuff currently does not runtime switch here for me. It works a little bit, but not fully. And here we have integrated graphics power here of my init stuff doing some tweaking. Yeah, that's it for this tinkering today and all the small stuff, even this finalization, um, just making this code a little bit nicer took of course some time and what I want to share here daily and maybe inspire you also not to accept everything. If something doesn't work the way you want, just fiddle on it, reverse engineer it, disassemble it, um, take it apart, but don't sue me if you break it. You are your own warranty. I hope you learned something. This is uh, at least here my intention to educate people even on the EFI grub BIOS level. You see other people out there also tinker with this stuff and implement stuff and um, make here the world a better place in regards to being able to use actually the hardware that um, you own. It's ridiculous in my opinion that vendors like this hide here hardware. We buy here some expensive hardware and then we can't even use it. And why we now get a ThinkPad. In other news, so why was the last live stream such a slideshow? Again, I now booted with Linux kernel with mitigations equals off. At least this should here, this thing actually says 26 to 30 frames. I hope it is less of a slideshow. Also, additionally, I have, so this mitigations, uh, spectrum meltdown, you name it, cause, uh, cause it such a performance drop in this context switching, video frame grabbing from USB and such, that we lose enough CPU cycles on this mitigations to cause here a slideshow. Additionally, I have slightly undervolted this but that is uh, a topic for another video undervolting here on Linux. I have done this already professionally on our previous AMD Phenom computing nodes as well as um, 
on uh, the, the Retina MacBook also because this also doesn't have the greatest performance on Linux. And so just for the test of it, um, I have probably still a terminal open with it or not, or maybe not. I can also open a new terminal. So I wonder, did I close the terminal? Why would I have done that? But again, this uh, is a topic for another video, so you can also get slightly better performance. So this is some Underworld Python script from the interwebs from GitHub. And that um, right now I'm running here Underworld with just some 25 millivolt or something here on all the core GPUs and caches. But be Cautious again your, your own warranty is always undervolting. You shouldn't you usually shouldn't be able to destroy something, just maybe lose some data if it crashes. And the manual says actually um, as an example minus hundred here on the voltages and hundreds hundred millivolt that completely deadlocked here the surface some moment ago before the light live stream. So with 25 we so far apparently survived. And there you see some throttling why I don't recommend this and will not buy it again and so on. The same for the Retina MacBook Pro. On the Retina MacBook Pro I can undervolt much more though. This is of course a, 5, a 45 watt CPU there, Intel Core i7 and again everything is here Intel Core i7, right? The constant theme here of everything is a Core i7 and you think you will get warping performance out of this but no of course dual core hyper threaded and um, yeah, that is that. Um, processor naming not amazing and undervolting. Yeah, maybe this helps a little bit. Although 13 frames. Well, I think it is significantly better in the combination of no security mitigations and a little bit of undervolting. But of course, this tiny small tablet, which is also why I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. You will not get any work done. Even web browsing is slow, as you see. And um, yeah, OBS streaming is of course a more heavier workload, but also, so is compiling software and um, stuff like this or browsing the internet because certainly modern websites require quite some CPU cycles. Um, yeah, that is true. Dave says, comes in the audience, uh, also good evening. Uh, bonsoir to everyone. If they would make this stuff easy, we wouldn't get paid lots uh, as developers. That is true, but also said. And I would rather actually do rocket science and fly to moon and Mars and not find, fight with all this security by obscurity stuff on Intel CPUs, MacBooks. And um, again, the writing code is difficult as it is and then reverse engineering and trial and error, all this stuff. And it could also not come to my mind, right? Um, I was using the MacBook for months with sub power performance, especially with subpower battery life, until I realized that the Intel GPU is actually not even there until after a couple of months, m many years ago, I wanted to investigate this. And then I realized, wait a second, where is the Intel GPU? And so on, beside, yeah, Novo, Novo, Nvidia not releasing the spec, not amazing. Just here some data points, um, as we are here live with a slideshow, I can also, as a final note, show you the website. So that is T2SDE. Um, and you see web performance when you live stream a slideshow even for me. Let's see if that is without typo. How many drop frames? Hey, zero drop frames. It's over 6 bit amazing. And yeah, also Thin and light, right? Really think, do you want a tablet? Again, touch disease, not amazing. But if you want to get something done, you want to compile Node.js or something. And again, stuff that is not too uncommon, even for a developer. You prepare something, you are traveling, you want to get some stuff done, and you can't barely type something or run some server software. Even, again, even on modern websites, Firefox is struggling. So Apple said to us is here, so you can directly click on this, on this link directly to the source code. That is what I've been talking about. 
just if you were wondering and wanted to take a closer look here on this. And this is already the latest version with Mac OS ish that works for me. If you have such a machine, your mileage may vary. Uh, please let us know how this works for you. I would also be specifically interested if this VGA switcher rule works for you. I've heard for newer machines it might actually work a little bit better. Again, for me, this runtime switching not amazing. And uh, also, Nuevo, Novo, Novo, something. X or graphic, especially dynamic clocking and voltages. Uh, not amazing, this performance P stage stuff there. Not yet, still not working on open source. Xorg, DRM, KMS stuff on Linux. So yeah, can't recommend this. I hope you learned something and um, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to motivate me and have you some means to do all this tinkering and engineering and documenting what will be next. So actually my contact at Lenovo has seen all the last slide showing light streams and they said, don't you want to have a ThinkPad? for a couple of more months uh, for you to use and um, they will just not give it permanently to me. But so actually in the post um, to me, ThinkPad from Lenovo, great, large, big shout out there for those pals there, amazing stuff there supporting creators and Linux developers like us. And so there will be more or less thermal throttling stuff should be a ThinkPad T490S and uh, then we certainly have this slideshow stuff solved and I expect most likely the headphone jack not to work as per the previous videos at least on the other ThinkPads like X1 Carbon from last year and there you see why do we do these videos to have means to do this work because it is still not yet done on the X1 Carbon so the X1 Carbon that we had, the so last year's model was already nearly a year old and no other developer has implemented on the Linux open source side the headset here to work on the microphone. And if this is most likely the case with the T490S that I should have in the next days, then I will do a next episode of open source tinkering there on the open source Alsa advanced Linux sound architecture side and hopefully figure out what kind of mixer element and um, Genesis logic or what this was, was it not general, uh, real tech, not, not Genesis logic, usually real tech, real tech, ALC, something codec to have microphone working on those sync pads and similar small stuff to this. So don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I hope you learned something. And I also thought I will maybe do some basic programming stuff. I understood some people in the audience are not programmers and um, I teach them already how to use, how to read diffs and patches, this unified minus plus format there that we like very much. Huge fan of modern unified patches, not this old fashioned direct add something patch 